guys. I hope you're all having a super Sunday. I've got something really cool and really fun um, that I'm about to tell you guys about. Uh, Michelle from Stylemaker Fabrics and I have been cooking up a little plan that I think you guys are really going to love. I'm super excited about it. Basically, what is about to happen is Michelle has uh, two fabrics that she is going to bring one of them to her shop. And the one that she's gonna bring, you guys are gonna vote on. Um, it's going to be an Inside the Hem exclusive fabric, which is like super cool. Um, and so you guys are gonna vote on one of two fabrics. And then once we get the fabric um, chosen, then you guys will also vote on the patterns. It's really gonna be like a whole community driven like project that you guys, are, you guys are gonna participate in from start to finish. And you'll have a say in like every single design element. And at the end, you will be able to see what you've created and then all of that will be available to you too. Maybe at a little itty bitty discount, which is awesome. So let me show you the two fabrics that you get to choose from today. So it's just like, I don't know, what do you want to see? Which of those fabrics do you want to see made up into a garment? Which one of those fabrics do you want to have available to you? You know, which one do you love the most for me? And which one do you love the most for yourself? So that's what you're going to vote on now. Well, you guys never cease to amaze me. The panel won by a landslide. I can share the results in the slide after this one, but I truly thought that the border print was gonna win. I don't know why. I thought that you guys were gonna flip for that, but the panel is our winner for the fabrics. Okay, so now that we know that it's going to be the panel, we get to pick the patterns. And this is really exciting. We've got two patterns that we've narrowed it down to, and I'm going to show you them now. Well, the results are in, and again, it was a landslide victory for our winner, the Deer and Doe Magnolia. So, I will be making that dress out of the crepe panel. Those are what you guys have voted on so far. Um, okay, and so today we're going to vote on some of the design details. Looking forward to see what you guys pick. Her shipping is like a couple of days. So I should have it by the weekend. So I'll do an unboxing and I'll take you guys along the cutting process and sewing some of it up. So this is really gonna be just an IG dress making party. All right. It's official. We have our dress designed. You guys spent the last 24 hours voting on the various design details and I have the results of those polls. <music> the 
the slave voting really had me on the edge of my seat. It was really close the whole time. And I guess it's okay to say now that secretly I wanted the long sleeve option. Um, so I was really hoping it was gonna pull out in the end, but it didn't. I'll be making the short sleeve version for this project. Rest assured, I will have a long sleeve uh, Magnolia dress before long. Um, but uh, like I said yesterday, my fabric and patterns are all on their way from Stylemaker Fabrics. They should be here, what's today, Wednesday? They should be here maybe Friday. I think they'll be here by Friday. If you'd like to make this dress along with me. The fabric is not like public on the website. It You can only find it either through her link or with the um, item number. So like regular people shopping her store won't see it there. Only those of you on our Instagrams, our Instagram followers, even know it exists. So that's kind of cool when like top secret and VIP and all of that. So get ready to screen cap the very next slide so that you have that item number. Okay, and some just like extra information about the shopping list. So this is a panel, we've been over that, <laughs> that is 36 inches long. So only so many pattern pieces will fit on that panel. And you also have to keep the bodices in one color space of the fabric and the skirts in another. So, you, you know, when you're laying it out, you know, you can't be... You can't do a lot of uh, pattern Tetris like we like to do. So Michelle pulled out the pattern pieces, laid them on the panel, found the most economical way for us to cut it out was with three panels. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that once I get the fabric and the patterns here. But so that's why we decided on three panels. To that point, the bodice is technically supposed to be self-lined, meaning the fabric that's on the outside is also what lines it on the inside. But if we did it that way, we would have needed to add a fourth panel. So to prevent you from having to pay for that fourth panel, what we did was we found a coordinating lining. So the lining is a batiste, like a cotton, very lightweight cotton, and you only need three quarters of a yard of it, and it's cheaper than a full panel. So in that way, you're saving a little bit of money. But if you want to have the dress self-lined in the bodice, then you'll need to buy a fourth panel just to make it all match. Um, so those were the notes about the panels and the lining, and then you needed to buy the pattern, and that's it. I think that there might be like a zipper or something in there. I'll go over all of that stuff whenever I get the pattern, um, in at the end of the week. I will be back to talk about this in a couple of days. We'll do an unboxing and I'll show you the panels. I'll be laying my eyes on them for the first time too. Um, and so we'll make this, like I said yesterday, kind of just like a whole Instagram party, uh, Instagram dress party, I think I called it. So, um, so yeah, just waiting on everything to arrive. And I will check back in then. Fabric is here. It actually got here last night, but it was too late and I was too tired to go get it. Um, I can get this email from Stylemaker Fabrics to let you know that your fabric has arrived, so you don't even have to check the tracking. So let's go get it. Okay, let's get into it. Like I said the other day, this is my first time, obviously, seeing this. Here's the pattern. Deer and Doe Magnolia. This is a hefty pattern. I haven't bought a Deer and Doe in so long. Oh my gosh, here it is. Okay, so here's the fabric. Let's see how these panels go. Oh, okay. Oh, 
please look at all that like drape and fluidity. Beautiful. And then you can see here where one panel ends and another panel begins. And it's like light colors, you know, like more white and like lighter colors. And then turns transitions into the darker side. Love it. So pretty. Okay. And then we picked out this lining. Um, she matched it perfectly as she always does. Um, so that's pretty. It is a Batiste, I think. Is it cotton? It is rayon Batiste, obviously not cotton. I think I had said maybe somewhere that it was cotton. I don't know. Um, either way, rayon Batiste, freaking stunning. Love that color so much. Okay, I'm going to pre-wash these now. Okay, now we wait for its finished washing. I am also going to put it in the dryer. I always wash and usually tumble dry my fabrics unless it's like obvious that it shouldn't be like leather or something. made this pattern before you know the instructions are a little wonky with this bodice that we are going to be making so I'm going a little bit rogue I'm using experience that I have from the big four and I'm not going to do it the way that they recommend they recommend basically sewing the outer fabric and the lining fabric and then sewing them together and then attaching the back to both the lining and the outer, which have all the seams showing. And then you put on bias tape. Uh, it's really silly. Like if you already have four bodice fronts, you know, one for each side, inside and out, why not sew them right sides together? That's what I can't figure out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut the bodice pieces and the waistband out of the main fabric and out of a lining fabric. I'm going to sew up the entire main. I'm going to sew up the entire lining and then I'm going to attach them right sides together along the front, um, the center front, just like you normally would. All the seams are going to be encased, even the waistband. It's going to be beautiful. I'm just double checking the length of this skirt because it seems really long to me. Um, so I marked the 5 8 inch seam allowance for where it attached to the waistband. And this is assuming, I'm making kind of a large assumption here, but I'm assuming that this is your waistline on your body and that the waistband sits above your waistline. Lord, I hope I'm right. <laughs> um, I'll have a make it work moment if not. Anyway, so I like a 22 inch finished skirt. So um, without the seam allowance up top and without the hem, I like 22 inches. The hem is three eighths of an inch folded under twice. That is three quarters of an inch total. So I marked that line and all of this is extra. So if I measure that, it's one, two and a half inches. So two and a half inches too long. So I am going to use the length and shorten line on both of the skirt pieces and shorten this puppy by two and a half inches. It has been a fun morning around here. Thanks for following along so far. I've just figured out the pattern layouts. So I'm gonna show you those. And just keep in mind that since this is a panel and it's kind of like an ombre in terms of going from lighter color to darker color, you have to keep all your bodice pieces at the top and all your skirt pieces 
toward the bottom and then the waistband kind of in the middle. Um, so I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, so a lot of you were asking about how I attached the sleeve um, lining and having it fully encased. So basically you start with your sleeve all sewn on to the outer part of your fabric. And then on the inside you have your lining not sewn to anything. Um, and then you take some kind of seam, like let's use the side seam pull the sleeve through to expose the seam allowance, fold under the seam allowance of the lining, press it up against your main fabric, and then wiggle your hand up in between those two, pinching the seam allowance. So now I've got the seam allowance of the sleeve. And okay, so when you're pinching the seam allowance, like so, you fold the lining, back over and you reveal that you are holding this seam here. So you pin that and try and pin all the way around the um, <clears throat> the arm side or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I can usually do this in two parts. You're basically pulling fabric through the shoulder seam. So um, it does get a little funky once you get up higher on the sleeve cap, but Anyways, you can do it in as many parts as you want, and when you're finished, you get a beautifully encased um, seam allowance, like so.